Greetings and welcome back to EdTech Moment, where we take a moment to talk about how you can integrate technology into your classroom. Today we're going to be talking about timers. We all know that a classroom timer is a great way to keep both ourselves and our students on track. When I was a brand new teacher and I was given a book on tips for new teachers, the first thing I said was, get a classroom timer. It's a great way to hold your kids accountable. When you tell them they have five minutes to accomplish a certain task and you set the timer, they know that they're going to be held accountable for that exact amount of time. Even better, if your classroom timer is visual enough that can give your students a visual cue on how time is passing so that they can gauge their progress on their task. And when we're talking about computer applications, we always like to find things that work on any computer, Mac or PC, and it's even better if we don't even have to download or install it. Today we're going to be talking about a timer that you can find online at eggtimer.com. So first I'm going to open up my browser, and I'm going to go to the website eggtimer.com. Now, careful on the spelling here, e.ggtimer.com. To get started, all you need to do is type the duration that you want to set your timer for in the box here. So if I want to set my timer for 30 seconds, just type in 30 seconds and hit go, and I'm given a very simple, clear timer that counts down the seconds. Okay, This is all simply within my browser. I haven't downloaded any program. I haven't, uh, I haven't had to install or run any program. And you can see it counts down the time. And then it also gives me this gray progress bar that goes across the screen. So as time passes, that progress bar is going across the screen. So not only can the students see the time counting down, but they can see uh, the duration or the proportions of time. When time expires, we're given a tone and the message that time has expired, so we can tell exactly when the time has run out. Another way to change the duration of the timer is simply to edit the time in the address bar itself. So I wanted to add 10 more seconds onto my time. I could simply come into the address bar and change the 30 seconds to 10 seconds and hit enter, and it resets the timer. So you don't always have to go to eggtimer.com to start your timer. Just type in e.ggtimer.com slash the duration that you want to set the timer for, and it's automatically set and ready to go. Again, the great thing is that this runs on any computer right inside your browser. One more trick that I'll show you with eggtimer.com is that it doesn't have to go full screen. Okay, You can actually reduce your screen down. So if you wanted to have the timer going at the same time as maybe some class instructions or something else, then you could simply lower the size of the screen as small as your words are there, and now you can have that timer running at the top, while other information may be displayed down below, a demonstration, or the daily agenda, or other kind of class information. Remember to visit our website at edtechmoment.com for more tutorials like this. Subscribe to our podcast feed in iTunes, or our YouTube channel to be automatically updated when new episodes are available. You can also email any questions or comments to feedback at edtechmoment.com and follow us on Twitter at EdTechMoment. Thanks for taking a moment.